Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my first impressions on a bunch of these drugstore products that I picked up. And I'm also gonna do this look with them. So if you want to see how I got this look and what I think about these products, then just keep watching. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to, let's see, I'm gonna do my eyes first. So I'm gonna go in with this MAC Prep and Prime eye primer. Um, you guys know I love this stuff. So you guys know that I got an e.l.f. package and in the e.l.f. package there were three palettes that I purchased and they were completely busted during the delivery. So when I sent the email, someone actually emailed me back and they said that they would either replace the palettes or if I wanted my money back, they would give me my money back. But I went ahead and told them to replace the palette. So I'm gonna show you the palettes that I did purchase. These are the 70s, 80s, and 90s palettes from e.l.f. So here's the 70s palette. And it's just a, you know, plastic packaging. And then it comes with the six shades. And then the 80s palette has more of like blues and purples and some gold, a gold and a peach shade. And it comes with this little sponge um, applicator, which I probably won't use, but that's the 80s palette. And then here's your 90s palette. These are some really beautiful shades for the winter. I really wanna go into the 70s palette. And these are supposed to be multi-dimensional shimmers. Um, I don't see any like matte shades in any of these palettes, so I would have to actually use a matte shade for transition color from any other palette that I have. Let me get a palette that I can use a transition color from. Okay, I'm gonna go into this Profusion Sienna's palette, and I'm gonna use some shades in here for my transition shade. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M518, and I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is Adventurous. It's more like a, kind of like a camel brown. These Profusion eyeshadows blend so well. That'll pair up with some of these shades that I'm gonna to use today. So here's the shades from that palette. They're beautiful shimmery shades. I'm also gonna insert swatches of the 80s and 90s palettes as well. So I'll do that at the end of the video. Okay, so um, looking at these shades, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two of them. I think what I wanna do is go in with this kind of lime green. That one there and then this kind of it's like more like a kind of like a rust color i want to go in with that one i know i said i wasn't going to use these but i actually did some of the swatches with these sponge applicators and they went on really nicely so i'm going to use the sponge applicator um, to apply the green shadow then i'm going to use a brush for the rust color okay so i am going in with the rust color and i'm going to use the morphe e17 and I'm gonna place that in the corner. These are pretty pigmented, guys. And then I'm gonna go on the outer corner and blend that also into the crease. Wow, that is really pretty. That'd be a beautiful like all over lid color as well. Okay, so what I wanna do before I go in with that green shade, I'm gonna use that Morphe M518 and I'm just gonna blend that crease just to smooth it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that sponge applicator and I'm gonna go into this green shade here and I'm actually gonna put that on the center lid. See how pigmented that is? So I just put that on the center and then I'm gonna take the clean side and kind of blend it just on the edges. That came out really nice. These eyeshadows are really pigmented, guys. They look really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to use this Real Techniques by Sam and Nick sponge. 
It is a sponge that is the Miracle Face and Body Sponge. And it says for bronzer, tanner, and foundation. Today I'm going to be using it for foundation. Um, it is a new look is what it says here. So the old one was more of that orangey tone. And this one is more of like a pink tone. It's pretty big in size. So I'm going to go ahead and wet it and I'll be right back. Okay, so my sponge is wet, but before I go in with my foundation, I'm going to go in with a product I've been loving, and it's the e.l.f. Glow Stick. And I'm going to put that all over. This really makes my makeup stay on really well. So next I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and I'm going to use that just where I have pore issues. And I'm gonna go ahead and shake these foundations up. And I'm using the Golden Beige and Desert Beige. I'm gonna mix both of those. I'm just gonna dot that on my face. And I'm gonna go in with the sponge. This has got to be one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I've got probably I would say I have a handful of drugstore foundations that I really like. I may do a video on that, letting you know what my top five favorite drugstore foundations are. If you want to see that, let me know down below. I really love the way the bigger sponges from Real Techniques perform, and I like them better than the smaller ones. Okay, that was about maybe one and a half pumps. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit more because you guys know I like full coverage. I'm just gonna go in with probably half, somewhat like half a pump, not too much. I don't wanna look cakey. This last layer will be perfect. I have this horrible like red rash on my neck. I bought this pullover and the zipper rubbed on my neck and it just made it like, just like made it like have a rash. It just looks bad. Okay, so for concealer today, I'm using this new, the Cream Shop Cover Story Full Coverage Concealer. I got this from CVS and I've actually never seen this brand in CVS, so this is fairly new to me. Um, I don't know how long CVS has been carrying it, but it's called the Cream. It comes in a tube like this. And this is the shade medium. So it looks like that. And it opens up. And then it's got this little kind of doe foot applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my under eyes and hope that it works out. I haven't heard much about this brand. Um, Cause like I said, it's new to me and I had never seen it before. So I wanted to actually try a couple products out from them. So I'm going to take the sponge and I'm just going to, it looks really soft under the eyes. Hmm. Let me put a little bit more on. Maybe the sponge is picking up the product. I think the sponge is actually picking up the product, so I'm gonna blend it with my finger. Nope. Nope, it's just the concealer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on, but it's not as full coverage as it says it is. It's supposed to be buildable formula, conceals dark circles, discolorations, and uneven skin tones. Doesn't cake. The cream shop is not a bakery, is what it says. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Cover Up, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with the Cream Shop Moon Dust Powder. It's a setting powder. It looks like this. It comes like in your typical powder type packaging. And it says here that it's a translucent, lightweight powder, eliminates shine and streaks for an airbrush finish. Apply with brush or powder puff as a final step to set and hold face makeup for up to 12 hours. Now, I'm not going to test this today because it is late in the day, but I will give you my first impressions on it. So it came with like this sifter type um, insert. 
And then I'm just gonna put some just on the top of the cap. And I'm gonna go in with this Morphe E8 and I'm gonna place that underneath my eyes. Let me see if I have any creases. Now I will say that my eyes have not creased, but it just doesn't have that full coverage. Ooh, that looks really smooth. That looks really smooth. Okay, I'm gonna use that powder also to set my face. And I'm gonna use this Eco Tools powder brush. I'm just gonna set all of my face. The powder looks really nice on the skin, guys. It looks so smooth. Ooh, how pretty. We'll see how that lasts for me today. And I'll put in the description box below, you know, how many hours I wore this powder and whether it lasted or if it, you know, made my skin oily or whatnot. But so far, the powder looks gorgeous on the skin. So I really like that so far. So I'm gonna go in with the Physician's Formula, the Deep Butter Bronzer, and I'm gonna use that as my bronzer today. I'm trying to stick with um, products from the drugstore, so I know the Tarte was at drugstore, but I use that every single day, or every time I do my makeup, so. And I'm using a Morphe M437. Absolutely. Love, love, love this bronzer. I think it's the best bronzer that I've ever found in the drugstore. So for blush, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush, and it's in Always Fiery. I have used these primer blushes before. This is just one shade I have not used. I really, really like them. They stay on really, really well throughout the day, and yeah, they don't move. So this is the shade here. It's kind of like a really bright orange shade, but I know that these blushes are really pigmented, so I'm gonna go in really light-handed with this. And I'm gonna use a Morphe E53 to do that. So I'm just gonna barely tap it in. Yeah, you see that? It is like super pigmented. So I'm gonna tap off the excess. And just gently put that on the cheeks. Oh, this blush is so pretty. Ooh, I love this. My gosh, guys, this blush is gorgeous. Why have I not pulled this out sooner? This is beautiful. I'm gonna start using this, it's so pretty. Okay, so for highlighter, I found these new Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting bars. So I actually picked up all four of the bars and these are limited edition, unfortunately, guys. Um, but when I saw them in store, I had to pick them up because they're so beautiful. And I picked up these shades Winter Bloom. It's more of like a white gold shade. I also picked up Baby It's Rose Gold outside. That is so cute. I guess it's their winter, um, their winter products you know, the seasonal products. And then I picked up Holly Goldhead. This is more of a gold shade. And then the last one I got was Let It Glow. And this is more of a bronzy shade. Sorry, the stickers on the front. So today, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the rose gold, the rose gold shade, and I'm gonna use that as my highlighter. So for my highlighting brush, I'm going in with the e.l.f. highlighting brush. I love this brush for like highlighting and I also love it to set my under eyes. It is a super soft brush. It's perfectly shaped like for your under eyes and then it also picks up a great amount of color for your highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the rose gold shade here. Put a little bit on my brush. Ooh, that went really well with the uh, blush. It's pretty. 
This is a beautiful shade. It is really pretty, but I think it's more like a topper for blush. It's not so much like your like highlighting shade. So on top of this, just on the top of those cheekbones, I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade and I'm gonna go in with the Holly Gold Head. This one, actually no, you know what? I'm gonna go in with the Winter Bloom. I just want that pop of highlight on my cheekbones. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. And I'm using the same brush. I'm just kind of cleaned it on a towel here. But I'm gonna go in and just, wow, that comes off a lot. And I'm gonna put that just on the tops of my cheekbones, just like that. Just add it on there. Yeah, that's what I like to see. That one little dab in the uh, highlight bar gave me enough color to place on both cheekbones. And I'll put some here. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick with the e.l.f. Precise Brow um, Pencil and then I'll come back and we'll do my lower lash line and then put on some lip products. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go back into the Sienna's palette and I'm gonna go back into that shade Adventurous and put that on my lower lash line. And I'm just using that Morphe E17 that I used for that rusty brown shade that I put on my lid. So I'm just gonna put that on the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna use that rusty shade right, right on top of that adventurous color. Just smoke it out. I did purchase these two LA Girl eyeliner pencils and so I wanted to use one of these shades today but there's a purple and a blue and maybe I'll use the purple just to give just a little bit of color just that pop of color in the waterline so I will use the purple today and this is what it looks like I'll swatch it for you um, these are supposed to be really creamy and they're supposed to be really long lasting so that's the purple shade there, and I'm just gonna go into the waterline. That is such a pretty purple. It's very like electric purple. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other line. That is really pretty. I think it goes really well with this eye look. I really do. Okay. So for mascara on my lower lash line, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara. I picked this up. Um, I saw a YouTuber saying that this was her holy grail mascara for her bottom lash line, and so I wanna go ahead and use that. I can't remember the YouTuber's name. If I do remember, I'll list it right here. But um, I'm gonna use this just for my bottom lash line. And I always use the MAC Giga Black Lash um, mascara for my bottom lash line but I wanted to try this one because she said that it was really good and it lasts it doesn't like make your under eye look black or anything which means it doesn't smear so I wanted to try it I've used this mascara before but I don't think I've used the waterproof I think it was just the regular one so I'm gonna put it through the test to see if it actually um, doesn't smear. I wanna go ahead and show you this blue shade that I got from LA Girl as well. Cause it's kind of like this really beautiful, like royal, I don't know, it's kind of like a purplish royal blue. But that's it right there. So those are the two shades that I picked up. And I can't wait to use this one cause this one turned out really nice. Okay, um, so I purchased the LA Colors Lips Are Lined package. I found this at CVS. They also have it at Walgreens. Um, this is the first time that I've tried LA Colors. Um, and I saw these, um, I think it's for Christmas, you know, they, these Christmas gift sets. And one of them was the um, lip liner. I also picked up the eyeliners, which I have not used yet, but I will be using soon. And then I picked up these LA Girl Colors, I mean, I'm sorry, LA Colors Iced Pigment Powders. 
Guys, I've already tried these powders and I'll show you the ones that I did try. I couldn't sit here and not tell you about these pigments, but I picked up more of the gold bronzy package and then I picked up the other ones which are different colors. You've got a gray, you've got um, kind of like a blue, and then you've got kind of a plum shade that's at the top. And the gold bronze shades are what I've actually been using and so this one is more of like a rose gold shade and then this one is a gold shade and this one is like a really beautiful bronze shade so I have been using these for like the past week and basically I've actually just been using this NYX pigment primer and so I'll put the primer on my lid and then I'll take like a just any kind of eyeshadow brush dip it into the powder so here's where the powder comes out. I dip it in there and then I put it on my lid. I just dab it on my lid and then I take kind of like a fluffy brush and I just blend it and that's all I use. I use one shade for the whole eye and it just looks so gorgeous. These are so good and I think they're like six bucks. Look, there's the price right there. They're $6 for three of these. And the lip liners are also six bucks and the eyeliners are also six bucks. But for $6, guys, you have got to go out and get these. Like I said, they're at Walgreens and CVS. And I think I actually picked up the pigments at Walgreens. And I picked up the lip liners and the eyeliners at CVS. So guys, if you haven't tried LA Colors, and you haven't tried these pigments, you guys have got to try to get your hands on these because they're so good. I didn't use them today because I wanted to use the e.l.f. palettes, but I have been wearing those nonstop, literally nonstop. So, okay, um, so for lip liner, I'm gonna go into this package here. These are the shades. And I'm not sure, I think I wanna go in with more of like a nude shade or kind of like a mauve shade. So maybe I'll go in with this one. It is, I don't think the names are on these. Nope, I don't see any names. This is more of like a brown shade. So I'm gonna use this one today, but I wanted to show you too guys, it also comes with a pencil sharpener. So that's pretty cool for six bucks. Hopefully these work really well and they're creamy. I haven't tried them. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. I'm just gonna lightly line my lips. Oh yeah, that's pigmented. That's a very dark brown. It is creamy. So what I did was I lined my lips, but I also blending it with my finger. Guys, so I also forgot to mention that I picked up the mini lippies. These are the rose lips, but these are the mini lipsticks. These were, I think these were also like $6 if I'm not mistaken. And then I also picked up the nude lips. And I've already used two of them. They're not in here, um, but they're in my purse. So I'm just gonna use one that I see in here today, and it's this one here. There are no shade names on these lipsticks at all. So I'm gonna go in with this new lipstick. And these are super creamy. Uh, the only thing is, they have like this distinct smell. It smells like I don't know, it just, it smells kind of maybe perfumey. It just smells different. So if you're sensitive to that smell, then you might not like these. But they are nice on the lips. They're not super pigmented. They're more like maybe just a light lip balm type of lipstick. But I really like them. They're very comfortable on the lips. They're very creamy. Um, this lip right here is is a bit dark for me because I have dark eyes. So what I'm gonna do is go in with a lighter lip color and I don't have one from the LA Colors brand, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a lighter lipstick so that I can put kind of in the center and kind of blend this all out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Baddest Beige. It's this shade here, very light beige shade. And I'm gonna use that just to lighten this lip up. And it has some shine to it, it's really pretty. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this Rose Glow Mist by Pixi. 
Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this one. I know I mentioned the other um, fixing spray. I think it's also Rose. Um, but if I haven't mentioned this one, I mentioned it today for you guys. It smells really good. Okay guys, while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and do something with these bangs and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I wanna go over the products with you guys. I wanna tell you what my first impressions are of these products. I absolutely love this e.l.f. shimmer palette that I used. Um, it's the 70s Feels palette. And I really love the way the eyeshadow blended. I love the pigmentation of the eyeshadow. It is a shimmers palette, so you're not gonna find any mattes in this palette. So just be mindful of that, that you're probably gonna have to dip into another palette to use a transition shade or to even use a matte shade to like deepen the crease or whatever you need a matte shade for. But just these alone are gonna be beautiful just for a swipe of color all over the lid. These are gonna be perfect for that. So this is a very beautiful palette and it just turned out exactly how I thought it was. It's just gorgeous on the eyes and I love the look that I came up with today using this palette. So for the 90s mood palette and the 80s vibes palette, I will be showing you swatches at the end of this video so that you guys can see the pigmentation of those palettes as well. Okay, so for the highlighters, I love these Wet n Wild highlighters. I did want to show you guys that there is a side mirror in these highlighting bars. It's like this, there's a little side mirror, so you can actually take this on the go and touch up. You can always use your finger. You don't have to necessarily use a brush with these highlighters because they're very creamy. So um, I did use the Winter Bloom, which I absolutely loved on my cheekbones, and I really love the Rose Gold Bar, um, but this one to me is more of a blush topper than it is a highlighter. But either way, they're both very beautiful, very creamy products, and I really like these. I also want to mention with the highlighting bars that I will be putting a swatch of the last two, which is the Let It Glow and the Holly Gold Head. So these two, I will also do swatches at the end of this video. So for the cream concealer, um, I will say that when I initially put it on my under eyes, that it was like, it was pretty smooth. But as I was trying to blend it out with my sponge, um, it seemed like it was either picking up the product or just making it really light. So I actually used my finger to blend it in and it really didn't do much of a difference um, than it did with the sponge. So I will say looking at it now, it looks pretty good. Um, it just isn't full coverage. So if you're looking for a drugstore full coverage concealer that will cover those dark circles, this probably isn't going to be the best choice. There are other concealers at the drugstore that do cover up that are full coverage. This is just not what I think full coverage should be. So yeah, it doesn't look bad. Um, it just doesn't cover some of the dark circles that I have. And if you don't have any dark circles or you don't have any imperfections on your under eyes, then this would probably be a good product for you to use because looking at it now, it has not creased, it has not broken up. But again, I'm gonna have to wear this like throughout the day to make sure that it lasts under my under eyes and that it doesn't fade. And I will let you guys know in the description box um, how long I wore this product and whether it worked for me or not. Um, for the Real Technique sponge, I absolutely love this sponge. It covers a lot of ground when you're trying to put foundation on. Plus, it has that tip to go in there for the concealer. I do love the other sponge, um, the old Real Technique sponge, the orange one, but I really thought this one was a really cute shade, and I love the pink, so I think it works just as well, if not even better, than the old sponge. But this is just a new look that they came out with and I wanted to try it and it didn't disappoint. It works really well. So for the Cream Shop Translucent Powder, this powder is supposed to keep your makeup on for like 12 hours. I will not be wearing my makeup for 12 hours today, guys, because it is later in the day. I think it's what? 618. So um, I will wear it for a few hours, but um, 
yeah it went on so pretty this is such a beautiful translucent powder my skin looks so smooth with this powder i mean it's just gorgeous and it is drugstore i'm not sure how much i paid for this powder but i will list it right here but i have to say it set my eyes really beautifully it doesn't look cakey under there it looks smooth and it looks really good like all over the face to set your makeup. So for my first impression of this powder, so far it really impressed me. It looks really good on the skin and I can't wait to use it again. Okay, so I did try the LA Colors Cream Lip Liner. This was very creamy. Now I don't know about the other shades of the liners. I'll have to test them out on my lips, to actually swatch them. So yeah, so this one worked really well on my lips. It was very creamy. It was easy to line my lips with this. It's very pigmented. And when I kind of blended it in, it blended in really well. So this shade here of the lip liner is really good. This right here, it doesn't really have a glowy look to it. It just kind of looks really natural. But um, again, I have to test this out to see if it works throughout the day. And I'll let you guys know how this worked for me. I have to mention, which I did not use today, but I have to mention again, the LA Colors Ice Pigment Powders. These are really good, guys. I can't say it enough. Um, I'll put a transition color and I'll use one on the lid or I'll use it actually by itself. I used this one by itself the other day and it just gives this really beautiful bronzy look to the eye and I just love them. I cannot believe you pay $6 for three of these pigments. They're just so good. So I did wanna mention those. Um, I have not used the eyeliners, but the eyeliners that I did use were the LA Girl eyeliners. And these eyeliners went on so creamy and they're really pigmented. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're super pigmented. It's just a beautiful like purple shade. And I can't wait to use the electric or royal blue one that I bought, but I really liked how this whole eye look turned out um, because even though this is more of a warm tone on the top lid, this purple just kind of brings out that pop of color on your eye. So I really like this, it went on very creamy. Okay, um, the other new product I used, but I've used this type of product before was the e.l.f. I just really love this shade, guys. I have got to start using this more often. It's a perfect shade for the um, season and it's just it just looks really good on the cheeks. It's so pretty. So anyway, that is it for my first impressions of these drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.